Morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over Savage Gifts. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over Savage Gifts. As you well know, I am a firm believer that Winterveld is one of the best times to actually make gold. So I have gone ahead and done all of my dailies, which can be got a whole lot of from this person, Almi which is in your garrison. Basically, she will give you four quests in order to do, where it will send you all the way over to the lovely Frostfire Ridge in order to do a lovely quest, in order to get a hold of merry supplies each and every day. So, what we've actually done is we've gotten a hold of all of our merry supplies. Let's pull in all of those right now. And we've also got a lovely 29,000 gold and not really much of notes, just a few different cards. So we'll just pull all that gold in right now just to clean up our mailbox quickly. Now, aside from all of that, how many merry supplies do we actually have? Well, we have about five days worth. That is 225 out of nine characters, which I have done it on. And now all we've got to do is Next to Almi, you can actually go to the events coordinator, which is Izzy Hozzle, Holly Fizzle. And basically, all you have to do is go into the vendor and you can actually trade in things for your merry supplies. You can buy things like imported trees, you can buy random stuff, little festive outfits and all that stuff. But the things that you really want to go for for Winterbell is either the Prussian Thrushing Killdozer, which is a toy that you can buy from this and is only from this event. So you can do that with your Merry Supplies. You get five Merry Supplies per character per day. That means if you have about nine characters, you can get nine kill dozers in one day. Now, this is something I usually do do, but I only buy like a day's worth of dozers and then the rest is Savage Gifts. So how many Savage Gifts can we actually get? Well, it's the same ratio, it's five Merry Supplies. So if you wanna go for a non-gambling method, go with the Kill Dozers. If you want to go for the Risk, then yeah, you're gonna to wanna to go with the Savage Gifts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 225 and then we're gonna divide that by five and that means we have 45 Savage Gifts to get a hold of. So what we'll do is we'll type in 45 and we'll buy 45 lovely Savage Gifts. Now this is gonna equal a load of Savage Gifts to open but the idea is you actually have a chance of getting a hold of two items. Now you have a chance of getting a hold of a medallion of the Legion which can be sold for on the auction house for a decent amount. This one can also be gotten a hold of from like Doom Roller and the big Tanan Rares, which was in Tanan Jungle, or you can only get the event specific mount from the Savage Gift, which is called the Minion of Grumpus. Now the Minion of Grumpus goes for a stupid amount of gold at this moment in time. So before we actually do our opening, we're gonna actually have a look at what it is on the auction house at this moment in time. So we're just gonna type in Grump and find that the Minion of Grumpus is currently trading at 90,000 gold. At the moment, obviously it's dropped down from yesterday. Of course, it's expected over this event, but you can sell it for a decent amount of gold. The only thing of note is the sell rate for this, and that does vary on server to server, but typically at 0.05, it will take a little while to sell, but overall, the amount of Minions of Grumpus, as it's a 3% chance from these Savage Gifts, it will take you a little bit longer in order to get a hold of one of these ones. That's why it's good to do it with an old army in order to actually get a hold of this mount. So what I am going to do is we're gonna clean up the bags quickly and we are going to open up Loot Appraiser because Loot Appraiser is probably the one I want to go for for that. And we're going to just click new session, apparently I didn't press that. And let's start opening our 45 Savage Gifts. So we have Frozen Arms of the Hero, duh, 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 duh. but we'll get along with that right there. We got a thousand of Pixis crystals, 300 garrison resources, 300 garrison resources, 300 oil. These are all things you can be traded in, another 300 garrison resources. 1,000 Apexus Crystals, and all of this stuff that you can get a hold of, Apexus Crystals can be traded in for a sizable amount of gold. We have a Medallion of the Legion, which goes for around about 4,399 gold. Loot Appraiser obviously isn't working for me, so we'll just add that up at the end. 
not a problem. We've got another medallion of the Legion. Open that up, we've got another medallion of the Legion. And overall that's like 15,000 gold right there. So we'll just keep opening it. We've got another Frozen Arms. The Frozen Arms don't really sell all that much, but they sell for like 270 odd gold. So it depends whether you want to use it on your own garrison for your own characters. To completely up to you. So we're going to keep going. We've got more Apexis Crystals, more Apexis Crystals. You will get a lot of garrison resources and Apexis Crystals from this as it's from WAD. And we've got another Medallion of the Legion. Obviously the, the Minion of Grumpus is a very rare thing. So 3% chance, I'm not actually expecting getting one throughout this entire clean out of this. It's, it's a very low drop chance mount to actually get a hold of. And there we are. Basically, 3% chance, this is why the mount goes for so much gold, is because I've just opened 45 of these and I didn't actually get one. That is why old armies are really good at getting a hold of it and that's why it gets its value because it's locked behind that event and it's at a 3% drop chance just from those savage gifts and we've just done five days worth of nine characters for that. But the one thing we can do is we at least we actually got a hold of the medallion of the legion which is going to be roughly around 20,000 gold for that. So I'm not overly going to lose sleep over that in general. What I'm gonna do is for future reference for this entire event, I'm actually going to casually put all of this stuff in here and throughout the rest of Wintervale, so following on to next year, when it ends on the second, I believe, we'll double check that. So when does Wintervale end? It, 2nd of January. So we're gonna stockpile up as many of the Savage Gift stuff and then at the end of it we're actually going to go over what it actually is. We're just going to hold those there until the time being and then we can see how many we actually got throughout our entire bit of Winter Bell with nine characters. So overall do I find this actually quite good? I actually thoroughly enjoy it and if you want to do something that's a little bit different I highly suggest doing it because you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you can actually get super lucky. I remember I remember actually getting like two minions of Grumpus in like one day's worth of cleaning out stuff. But that is like super, super lucky. Remember it's 3% drop chance and I just opened 45. So just remember it is RNG based. So what you can do is you can always get yourself a hold of the Killdozer if you wanted to play it safe. And then you can sell those over the year as people do buy them throughout the year. So that's something you can do right there. And overall, tomorrow's clip clean out of Merry Supplies, I'll probably be getting a hold of the Killdozers and then just getting that out of the way and then stockpiling up more Merry Supplies. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much all I really want to talk about for today. I just wanted to go over a little opening and clear it up on how this actually works. Obviously, you can get a hell of a lot more gold just farming raw materials, but this is a nice change of pace if you wanted to do something a bit different throughout the festive season. Now, other than that, guys, that is pretty much everything for today. Take it easy, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold-making resources, and Patreon-specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you, and have an awesome day.